presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Bocatron. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 90, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract up $28.60, trading at $2,061 an ounce. You get silver up 34 cents, $25.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 59. $76.46 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, trading up 15 ticks, 109.15. The 30 year up nine ticks at 116.10. And you get the 10 year right now, folks, at 4.34. Now, the thing that's pretty cool, man, I mean, we hit 5.02. Uh, bottom line, it's been a one way shift right from that 5.02, which is approximately uh, about three and a half, about three weeks ago. And King Dollar. King Dollar continues to give it up. King Dollar right now is trading down 400. Uh, 393 ticks, 102,806. The euro is at 109. The yen is trading at 147. The British pound's at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you've had a run, no doubt about that. Now you're basically building cars. We've been building cars here for five days. You got an S&P that's in an ABC structure up. 462 is the number. We're at 454. My take is that we're going to get it. We'll see how this shakes out, but that's how this is setting up. We go into the NDX 100. Now, the NDX had already broken the top of the highs, and that's in an ABC structure also. Uh, bottom line is that you can see, though, that's clearly just blew that thing away. You know, you, you cut, you, you're waffling back and forth on it. Same type of setup, though. You're building cars for higher price. Now, let's just go into the notes and bonds which are running the market, including the dollar. So if we take a look at the 10-year first, what you're going to see in the 10-year is that yesterday, and particularly because we had just come back from the Thanksgiving holiday, the volume exploded in the 10-year and the 30-year meaning the buy-in volume. When you're pushing into swings, you push in with volume, your probability gets much higher, you're gonna blow that away, which is exactly what we did out here today. So we're at 109, and what's game here is uh, 114. You know, and at 114, the bottom line is that that's gonna be breaking the 4% mark in a month's away, actually a uh, 10 year, 10, let's see. Let me do it this way, because I believe I'll, I'll, I'll do it this way when, when we start the, uh, after I do this. Okay, gold. You know, we were talking about gold yesterday, and, well, we talk about gold all the time, actually. But the bottom line is that what it was doing is that we had a few equities that busted their consolidation. Uh, bottom line, you're up 28 bucks today. You get volume behind the move. And what you're going to see is that this is a true bust with conviction. If we take a look at the XAU, what you're going to see 
four month, four month consolidation right there. Busted. I expect we're going to have the volume also, as well as the XAU. You take a look at the XAU. Same type of setup. You get the bust. We'll get the volume tonight, but I can tell by the amount of volume that's in the in the actual equities, you get a you get a bust with conviction top side. And of course, if we go over to the dollar, what you're going to see out here is that between the dollar and bonds and i've been you know talking about the aspect that this is a huge turn folks okay <coughs> the interest rate structure in particular but it's hitting both the dollar just can't hold hold price anymore if we take a look at this dollar what you're going to see is that there's just about you have five days of support so you know when you talk about support and resistance folks it's all about how many days that they traded whether you're trying to bust it on the way up or bust it on the way down. And you can see right here, what you have here is only five more days, man. This thing's gonna get down to this 99, 500 uh, very fast, <laughs> as is gold. You know, if we take a look at gold, my take is that this is the run that we're gonna go to 2,500. So if you take a look at this GC1, it's the combination of the interest rate structure and the dollar. That's, that's what this is coming down to. And time, you know, if we take a look at time, what you're going to see is that we've been consolidating for three years, you know, and so you consolidate with three years. That is a huge amount of cause. And, you know, of course, still has got to take out the B point, take it out with volume. But the bottom line is I expect that's exactly what you're going to see. And we're approaching it, man. <laughs> I mean, we're coming right up to this thing uh, right now. You get the uh, 241 and we're talking. You only need, we only need another day like this, actually. Actually, a couple days. A couple days like that. And when that blows topside, <laughs> get out of the way, man. Because the equities are already off to the races in a monster way. If you haven't test driven the gold report yet, folks, get over there and do it. Okay? Because the, the bottom line, when these runs happen, uh, they're fast, they're furious. And, you know, my take is that, uh, you know, it's not even, you're just... You're not at the beginning of the run because a, a few of these are off the, the lows pretty good, okay? But the bottom line is that you're, you're talking about plenty of upside. If we look at, you know, uh, Anglo Ashanti, there's a bunch of these we own. And, you know, even with Anglo Ashanti, you're talking about right now is like a, a $19 stock. Well, that's go, that go, <laughs> must have got 30 bucks, man. <laughs> so, you know, the gold market, silver market is small. You take, go over to wheat and precious metals. This is one of the largest silver brokers out there. It had already busted top side. It's up another buck 46 out here today. Uh, bottom line is that the, the run's on. That's, that's what it comes down to. And you can see this one here. Uh, it gets really intriguing, actually, when you look at it, because we've already broken, not only broken the downtrend, but this thing wants to make us run to the highs. And we'll see on some of these, are they going to be major ABC structures on the way up? I mean, that's, that's what we very well could have. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 80. NASDAQ is up 5. S&P's down 2.5. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 83. You get the NASDAQ up 5. S&P's off 2.5. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you go for six months a year, if it works for you, awesome. On the 28th day, for some reason, it doesn't work for you, just tell us. You get your money back. And you're also going to get a great education because Basil has not only a great newsletter, but on his website, on, on the web page, when you get it, okay, there's approximately 12 different archives that you can go through to understand how Basil looks at the markets each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. I, I'll tell you, we get a cold spell here, Basil, and I know this is not cold for you, but it's like 45 here, and... It's terrible. <laughs> Thank God it's going back to 60, 65 tomorrow, but it's it's cold. Well, it's interesting because over the weekend I had uh, a son and daughter and grandkids here, and um, it was we went outside. My my grandson had a, he had to play soccer outside, and he, I, it wasn't cold enough. I managed to get out there and play. I love but, it. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I, I, I prefer the warm weather. I, I know yeah. you got to do it. Okay, so what are we going to look at today, Basil? So I did this with you last week, but I'm going to do it again just to show for those of you who don't see my show, The Tiger Technician's Hour at 10 o'clock Eastern Time every market day. Um, I, I try to identify the lowest low bar and then merely count each successively peak and alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. Peak A, the high peak is B, the next peak C, D, E, F, and G. But it's the, the upgrade of a buy signal to a buy mode that says you should go to at least a D. That's the obligation of this in the Chapman Wave technique, that once you get an upgrade of a buy signal to a buy mode, you should go to at least four, D, four peaks higher, which is D. Well, have a look at this. The Dow is in leg D. 
at 35,518. But the nine period moving average is still very strong over the 14. That is really powerful. The MACD is still good. Stochastics flat at 96. The on balance volume is good. And so far, we don't have, I always talk about this. I'll just show this chart just very briefly here. Let me just change it, make it the Dow INDU. And this particular chart, I call it right here. Chapman Wave, dark news cloud cover. In other words, there's always something out there that the market doesn't like. But within the context of what the market does with that news, sometimes it just ignores. It's like water off a duck's back, just ignores bad news, and sometimes it becomes very important. So I say to subscribers, uh, when I, did, I do an hour-long video um, every week, an overview of what's happened, what's going on, what we're looking at, what stocks we like. So I said that I see some kind of short-term sell-off coming, and I don't know where the bad news is going to come, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But we're in leg D. The S&P, this is going to be very interesting if I can hit the right uh, key right there. The S&P, and one of the reasons why we went long right at the bottom, uh, we went long uh, Microsoft is because I considered it was the best stock in the Dow, it was the best. Uh, it was really the best stock in the Nasdaq. It was the best stock in the S in the in the S and P and the XLK, which is the uh, tech sector. So that's been a bit of a clue to us, and I'll get back to that in a moment. But look, here's the S and P makes a peak D, tiny little doji candle. And if you look at all the candles, one, two, three, four. This is like a little bit of short-term distribution, as far as I'm concerned. So it says. On a short-term basis, we should be pulling back. So we've bought ourselves a little protection. You've got the QQQ. That's the index 100. Peak D. So we've got all, and I went through about 10 or 12 of them this morning in my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour. So that just said to me, on a very short-term basis, maybe we're looking at the dollar. And we did, you spoke about the dollar accurately. But I'm saying that this 102 level that we're at right now is where we were back right here and that was in i think it was september it was august the 30th and in my left side right side price time match it's one day early to get to that going all the way to 107.35 and it's pulled back so this is an area that i'm thinking there's a chip i don't know where it's going to come from but it seems to me we're kind of ripe for some kind of bad news maybe the dollar has a bounce because gold has acted very well but if you look at the gdx that's in a huge leg D right now, so it could take a bit of a breather. I'm not sure where it's going to come from, but these Ds are what I'm watching very closely. I would mentioned Microsoft, and that's had a, a – we're fortunately for the subscribers, we're along at 338. Here is a 380.64 uh, – no, it's a 383. Round number high today. You're going to be watching that closely. So, But it's also very strong. So all I'm saying is that I think that we're in for uh, – just a, bre a breather here and how um, we've had a rotational uh, on the way up. It hasn't been all the stocks. I mean, I, I'm sure that you've even noticed it in the gold sector that it started off with just a few, a handful that were really strong. Maybe now they start, the others are starting to move. So I think that this could be a rotational, just like a mini correction right here. Uh, we'll watch Microsoft uh, because it's done so well. It will be giving us clues. But I also wanted to mention that for subscribers, we long a particular stock called Symbiotic, and I've spoken about this on the show here, ooh, I think for, for many months. We've been long since 21. Uh, it hit 64.14 on the way up. We took profits. Uh, we still hold a core position. We, Sweet. We, and look at this. It, it bounced. Even today, it was just five, six sessions ago, it was trading in the 36, 37, 38 area. Boom. Today it hit 59.82. I think it's also a little bit overbought. There's a leg E. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little bit of a pullback. But my my weekly charts are still very strong. And even the technicals on the daily. So I'm just expecting there'll be a little bit of a breather, give an opportunity to uh, maybe enter some stocks that one was looking at and got away. And you, maybe that'll be an opportunity. So, you know, we're talking about peak Ds here. Look at this. The um, ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF, the TBT, went to a peak F at 44.96, but the weekly chart made a peak D. 
and we've pulled back sharply. So here again, I think this area in the uh, TBT at about 36 to 35 could see some support. So I'm just thinking that maybe that's on a short-term basis, something happens, we get a little bit of bad news, gives the market a bit of a breather, and we're going to be watching uh, the different, but on a weekly basis, if you look at the TBT, uh, that's, I, I have to wait for Friday because it's a weekly chart, but it looks very close to a sell signal, maybe even a sell mode. I don't want to go that far, but basically it's saying that, I'll go to the TLT for the moment, it's saying, uh, and yo, this is what I wanted to show you. This is the resistance level right here that I've drawn in um, for the TLT. So we're kind of close to that. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a bit of a bit of a rest off this spectacular move to the upside. And folks, and, um, it, it's very easy to get Bowser's news out. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go to the newsletters. It's on the left-hand side, the opening call. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Warm, Tom. You must yeah, I know. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 83. You get the NASDAQ up 5. S&Ps are down 2.5. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord hyphen oracle.com that's odd hyphen oracle.com tim Ord, hope you had a great uh, thanksgiving lots of turkey lots of ham lots of food <laughs> yeah yeah a little bit too much i like to eat and that's my problem yeah, me too man i'm telling you man family here so uh everything 
Everything went well. That's, what about yourself? It's I cooked two turkeys <laughs> oh, <laughs> for leftovers. Yeah, over, huh? yeah, I loved it. Two turkeys, plenty of stuffing, plenty of yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, so market-wise, uh, I have your charts. Which which do you want to start with? Number one. Yeah, just start with one. Actually, you kind of you want to look at the bigger picture and kind of work back and see where you are in the bigger picture. Okay, awesome. And and uh, we talked about this chart before, so we're kind of just updating it. Yes. But fr from the 2020 low up to the 2022 high, uh, the market pulled back. Uh, Right at fifty percent retracement. Yes. And so, if it pulled back down to sixty-one point eight percent retracement, that would imply at best you might see a double top. But it's only did fifty percent retracement. And actually, well, in a day it hit fifty, but uh, it closed actually above uh, the fifty. But okay. Anyhow, we we had a rally up, and now, in my opinion, we're making a right shoulder of a head and shoulders bottom. And we probably completed the shoulder uh, in October. Uh, we had, uh, on the monthly chart, there was support around 4,200. And on the uh, weekly chart, there was support around uh, 4,100. Okay. And actually, the weekly hit right on the money. The monthly hit right on the money. And now we're having a, a, a decent rally off the October low. And uh, we're going up. And, and now you you got to say, okay, so where were, are we? And so you go down to the bottom window. Yes. And if you, if you go back and look at the last top in uh, October of 2021, which is that kind of shaded pink area. Okay. Uh, I, I noted you, you, you went up, made higher highs on the S&Ps there. But if you look at the uh, bottom window, which is the SPX VIX ratio. Yes. You made lower highs. Right. I see that. And Yeah. So you got a bearish divergence there. And actually, we got out. In that um, that late, actually December of 2021, we kind of stayed out and uh, didn't. Oh, well, yeah, we got out. So now you look at where we are right now. The S and P's have not hit above the previous highs yet, which is up around that 4600. If you notice down at the bottom, which is that light blue area, right. the uh, SPX VIX ratio made a higher high. That. Well, the ratios lead the S and P's, right. so what what that implies the S and P's will hit a higher high above the previous high. And when you're looking at this, folks, this is so cool. You just go down to the very bottom. You're going to be able to see where the arrow, first Tim put the arrow where the first high was, right? And you can see that that ratio had gone down. And then when you go over for the second arrow, you can see how much higher it is. This is pretty cool, Tim. Wow, amazing. Yeah, amazing. it's pretty cool. Well, there's there's more to say here too. No, I got a, a dotted line across the, around the 4600 area. Okay, I see and, it. Yep. And that that dotted line rep represents the neckline. Okay. And the dotted line is actually the the previous highs we hit back in looks like about July of this year, and the market fell back. And so now we're going up to that test that July high. Well, you already know you're going to broke it, break it because the bottom window says. Uh, the SPX VIX ratio already made a higher high, suggesting the S and P's will make a higher high. Yes, that implies you're going to break the neckline, right? Yes. So now, now if you break the neckline, uh, you, you need it with a sign of strength to really confirm a head and shoulders bottom. Right. But you already know you're going to break the neckline. So this this current rally uh, has started in November, probably going to run into December. And I bet you that we will break that neckline, 4,600, with a sign of strength. And if you do, that confirms the head and shoulders bottom. And that would imply uh, the head and shoulders bottom. Uh, if you do the measurement, the, this head and shoulders bottom has a projection up around 5,700, which is uh, yeah. you know, about 20 25 percent higher substantial. than where we are right substantial. now so and when, when tim, next year would be an up year exactly and um, when tim says a sign of strength folks that's wide price spread accelerated volume that's what you're looking for yep. going through here you know what's so cool tim man that like right now you know we we had the expansion going up you know been going sideways for five days and normally that's what ha you got to go sideways folks to build cause 
to basically get that type of energy. So it's pretty cool that we're building cars right underneath this thing. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, like, yeah. yeah that's exactly what I want to say, too, because you don't want to break that trend line until you got enough, you know, cause yes. and a sign of strength. So I'm thinking a sign of strength is going to come here, um, I don't know, probably in December. You know, it's hard to say. I don't know what it's going to do. Sure. You know, it's so narrow, so quiet right now. And this is quiet before the storm, I think. No, listen. So, uh, and a hey, window dress, window dressing starts at the end of this week, man. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, maybe that, yeah. that that's it. Um, here, flip, flip the chart two real quick. Okay. And uh, this is kind of a little smaller group, and this is kind of. Uh, uh, I'm actually trying to prove my point about this. Uh, uh, the SPX VIX ratio. Yes. And so you go you go back and look at times, other times when the ratio went higher or lower, and see what happened. But okay. If you go back. Uh, this chart goes back to 2019, I think. Uh, but anyhow, back in at the March of of 2000, you know, the COVID decline. Yes. Well, that market was was making higher highs. You can see. Which is uh, yeah, uh, I see that the 2020 and that ratio was making lower highs, so that, that predicted that top. And that's the first MP circle, goes. folks. That's the first circle on this down here. Okay, cool. Yes, Go ahead. yeah, first one. I could have gone back further and, ma and made my point even more, but I'm the whole you. thing remains. Yeah, it kind of just repeats itself. Yes. So, but anyhow, yeah, then this is a jan. This is a weekly chart instead of a monthly chart. But same thing happened. The SPs make higher highs. The ratio, which is a uh, the second window up from the bottom makes lower highs. That's bearish. Yeah. Then we'll go back and uh, we we repeat this again back in April, May of this year. The ratio is making higher highs, and the SPX is just going sideways. Right. And uh, anyhow, that predicts the market's going to go higher. And now currently we're making higher highs again on the weekly chart. Uh, second window up from the bottom. And the ratio is actually at the moment, or the SPX at the moment, is still making lower highs. So um, when's the rally going to start? You know, it hasn't ended yet. Uh, so um, we may see a, a decent December is what it, what it kind of looks like. That's so, what Santa no. Claus looks like he's going to be coming. <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus looks like he's coming. And actually, if you go all the way down to the bottom window, yeah, that's the VIX. Okay. And as long as the VIX kind of keeps making lower lows, and anything below 17, usually you're, you're in a trending market. And right. all the blue shaded area on this chart is when the VIX has been below uh, 17. And, and we're, 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 we're at 12.68 like right, right now, folks. 12.68. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming back. Um, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading, uh, trading up uh, 62. You get the NASDAQ up 7. S&P's off 3.5. Don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim at ord-oracle.com. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oid, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and problem with us. We have Tim going through these markets for us, folks. And the bottom line, you know, you've been listening to us uh, long enough here. Uh, Tim's been on quite a while now. He hit it in gold. Bottom line, they're hitting it in the S&P, and I can tell you, Tim, you know, uh, these ratios, I'm loving these ratios, man. <laughs> you know, we Good know idea. that there's no crystal ball, but I can tell you something, man. These ratios are really cool, man. They, they just yeah. make a lot of yeah, sense. I, I, I discovered them years ago, and, and uh, well, that's, that's, let's go to another ratio. Uh, let's go uh, to chart three real quick. Okay. And uh, this is short term, so we, can't, we looked at the bigger picture, and then we went to a weekly chart. And now we're going to kind of getting down to more the nitty gritty, stuff. yeah, right. So, and uh, the, the middle window, uh, this is a daily chart, and it's a, the middle window is the TLT VVIX ratio. Yes, and uh, it kind of really gives a good view on a real short term time frame. And so you got the bond market, and you got the VIX of the VIX kind of giving you uh, uh, a positive divergence or a negative divergence. And, uh, again, if you look at July, uh, this ratio is going, going, making lower highs while the S&Ps are making higher highs. This is another reason why I got out in that July high. Yes. Uh, got back in. Uh, the light blue area, uh, the, the market, uh, you can see there a little bit, the market was making lower lows, and that ratio was making higher lows, and that spurred the rally. Now you got a market kind of going sideways and its ratio is going down. I think you're probably going to hit one more new high here on a short-term basis, and you're probably going to see some sort of a consolidation probably the first or second week in December. Okay. And nothing serious, but if you look on the bottom chart, which is the SPY, there's a gap there at 4440, and uh, I think you may hit that gap. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. And um, and it needs, you know, this market's virtually gone straight up. Oh, yeah. No, and I'm with the, you there. So, you know. That'd be, that'd be quite a gap, pullback, though, 440. I get it. Yeah. I'm right. sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying that'd be you know, quite a pullback, 440 in the spy when we're at 454. But I see that it's a monster gap. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a monster gap there. And if you do, you know, I, I probably should have put a, a Fibonacci relationship in there, but it looks like about a 31.8% retracement, you know, if you kind of eyeball it. Yep, I'm going to um, do it right now for you. So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's it's actually uh, is that 20. Yeah, it is. No, it is exactly what you said. Yeah, cool, man. Okay, yep. Yeah, I was just eyeballing it. I really yep. haven't done it, but I kind of watched Fibonacci relationship. So that'd be a bullish thing. That would imply that the consolidation does happen, doesn't so far, I'm not saying it's going to happen. No, I'm with you. I'm starting to see signs that it may happen. I'll put it that way. Yes. And so you get a, a normal retracement of, you know, 30%, whatever. And that's probably the halfway point of the move up. Then I think you get the sign of strength. In my opinion, you know, kind of explosive move through that 4,600 area, which is where that neckline is. Right. And uh, you get you get the rally going and kicking off and, and whatever. I think that's 
that things may change, but that's quite a possible. So, Tim, you let's know, just let's just let's let's at just the moment to get out of the market. Right. You know, let's just see if we have a divergence here. OK, cool. Let, let's so. just go over this one again, because this is really cool, folks. OK, so, you know, we went through the head and shoulders, folks. OK, the head and shoulders. If we get the sign of strength through the neckline, you know, bottom line, you're off to the races. Right. The the correlation here, however, not however, it, the correlation that Tim is saying is that he's showing you on this chart here that the first one that he got out, he was actually on the year then, okay, because the ratio between the TLT and the VVIX was going down. And you can see this right now, it's starting to go down. So what you're saying specifically, Tim, if this keeps going down, that would be giving us a heads up that, hey, the S&P could pull back and probably go after that gap, right? Yeah. Cool, yeah, man. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Nice. Okay. So, but, but I think there's one little bit more rally here on the S&Ps because, you know, we really haven't touched a new high yet. Yes. Now no. I'd like to see it touch a new high and that ratio not touch a new high. Right. No, I, I get so. it. I get it. I'm just trying to, you know, really, it was so cool about what you're doing too, Tim, okay, is that it's not only just folks, okay, that you can say that, okay, one reason when some of these ratios are going higher what he's specifically saying, too, is that, okay, we got some divergence here. This ratio here, you know, bottom line can say that, okay, we're going to come. It, it's getting a little bit weaker, and we may, may go after that gap. So, yeah, no, it, this is great information, man. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this, so I'm thinking, you know, it's, it's time to get bullish. And I'm thinking time to relax. I'm, I'm still in that long position. So, right. But, you know, that's what, that may develop, you know, you know, maybe Thursday we'll have more information what, what to do next. No, and, for sure. Uh, no, listen, so, I am too. I, and I know what you're saying. It's hard to stay long this long, folks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know it. But you know, <coughs> back in the day, I'd be way out, you know. But, yeah. You know, as you get older, you kind of like, yeah, let's, you know, the only thing, you know, let the profits run. So what the there's no you doubt know, this because. This is a screaming rally off the lows, you know. Uh, they're they're going to, you know, they're going to make the shorts pay. They, they know, are. So. And it's, yeah. it's the right time of the year. There's a lot of things that are lined up with, with me between the interest rate structure and the dollar. They're both interest rates are going down. The dollar is going down. That's telling me that, hey, that that puts breathing room into this market in a monster way. I mean, it's a, it's a huge dynamic change. This is a, a change of, uh, you know, well, 12, 20 months, you know, 20 months. The interest rate structure has been going up. Well, you got to turn like yep. that. And that's when, when we were. Do you remember when Greenspan? And Ruben came on. That's when you had to get off the air saying, hey, I, I got to go buy this thing. I got to go buy this thing. That was uh, right. that was live. Yeah. yeah. All right. That was, what, 96 or something? And or? That, that was all about interest rates. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That That's was 98, I think. It was the, it was the agent market. contagion. It was the agent yeah. contagion, I think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. should we go to number two now, Tim? Yeah. Let's just go to uh, chart number three. Actually, we were on the air and we talked about it. And I actually want to go back to this chart. Back in August, I was saying the low's probably in. And you remember me saying that? Yes. Anyhow, you, you oh, know, the, your, which, your first off, what, what chart do I supposed to have up, Tim? Huh? What chart do I supposed to have up? Okay, the chart number four. Four, okay, good. I got it. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Well, anyhow, the, that first chart is August 20, August August 23rd of August, I said, you know, if you, uh, uh, the top window is the RSI for the bullish percent index slash GDX ratio. And I said, once you go below 30 and close above 30, the bottoms use the end. Exactly. I said that on the radio. Well, if you look right there, it went above 30, and again, it went below 30 again and went above 30. Right. So, so we got that buy signal back in August. But the, uh, then the October did the exact same thing. The ratio went back below 30 again and turned back up. So it was kind of a little whipsaw, which is kind of an unusual signal. If you look at all the previous signals, usually when you go below 30 and back above 30, the bottom is in. Okay. This particular time, it went below 30 and above 30 twice. So you got two signals. You got an August 23rd signal and you got an October 4th signal. Well, the October 4th signal was the bottom signal. And that's where the market, you know, now is is, is pretty much screaming up. Oh, but, it's screaming, man! Um, that gold market screaming. Yeah, it's screaming. So it, it was kind of a little bit, whip, a little bit of a whipsaw, but but then again, it was still 
boys just two times in a row. Yeah, there's no, stay the right there, folks. We've got still. one segment Boy. left. Tim will go over these last charts for us. And don't forget, you can get hold of Tim at ord-oracle.com. Tim and I come right back, folks. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. So, Tim, I, the, the chart I have up is the uh, RSI. Should I go to the, the first one or the, the last one? Uh so that was chart four yep. uh, we just went over, which was the daily, and chart five, which is the last one, okay. is is the weekly. It's the same, the same setup, but you do it on a weekly chart. I see. Okay. And uh, and uh, the only thing, no, there's nothing bad about this chart, but that chart, it's the same thing. The RSI goes below 30, then closes above 30. You get the buy signal, and we got a buy signal on August 28, 2023. And if you notice, the if you look at the, um, the, I got some red printing there. I see it. Yes. Yeah. When, yeah, when that chart, when this chart triggers, it's, it's mostly time the the uptrend starts several weeks later. Okay. And so it just warns you where the bottom is, and it worked to, actually as it should. Uh, sometimes it hits the bottom perfectly, but a lot of times the market will flip sideways, uh, which is the last four signals did before the rally actually began. Uh, so you got a, you got the daily given a buy, 
twice, and you got the weekly uh, giving a buy once, and all the signals uh, pretty. I think it was a of all the signals, I think it was a ninety percent chance the signals will work. But it did give this area from August until October a very important time frame for the market that it was making a bottom. And actually, in my opinion, has made a bottom, especially today, if you look at the market. And, well, you know what's so cool, uh, Tim? What's so cool? I'm going to put this chart up. we will get a few seconds. But you're talking about a sign of strength in the GDX today. It's finally got legs, man. I mean, it's, it's blowing right. away the whole consolidation of four months. And you got 32 million shares. The most we've ever done in a swing point up there, you got 20, 29 was the last one. We're going to do like 33 today, and the rest of them were 21. So pretty cool, man. Yeah. Right. And you got to, you know, but the pattern was forming is head and shoulders bottom. I think today is breaking up the neckline. Yes. You know, no. Big time. You got a bunch of highs there around 30. Big uh, time. And so we're breaking it with the sign of strength today. So It's a beautiful burn. thing. Well, listen, man, it's yeah. always a pleasure, Tim. We'll talk to you Thursday. Uh, and always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. June, uh, join Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Great. Thank you. Thanks.